A small five-minute mistake every morning is costing diesel owners thousands in early turbo failures, DPF changes, and injector damage. The wrong way of warming up the engine doesn't just waste fuel, it actually harms your engine from the inside. And the most surprising part is that almost 70% of diesel owners use the wrong warm-up method. In this video, you'll learn the tested and proven way to warm up your diesel engine that keeps it safe and makes it last longer. Watch till the end because the biggest mistake happens after people think the engine is already warm. Diesel engines work differently from petrol engines. They use compression to burn fuel instead of spark plugs, which makes them run rough when cold and need more time to reach the right temperature. Cold diesel engines face three main issues. Engine oil becomes thick in cold weather, causing more friction between moving parts. Cold combustion chambers don't burn fuel properly, which causes incomplete burning and carbon buildup. The fuel itself doesn't vaporize well when cold, making burning even less effective. Starting a cold engine without the right warm-up causes much more wear and tear than normal driving, which is why warming up properly is so important. Now here's the biggest mistake most diesel owners make letting the engine idle for 10, 15, or even 20 minutes before driving. This long idling actually damages your diesel engine more than it helps. Diesel engines create very little heat when idling because they burn very little fuel. Unlike petrol engines that keep almost the same burning temperature, diesel engines have changing combustion temperatures depending on how much load they carry. When idling, your diesel runs at very low combustion temperatures, so the fuel doesn't burn fully. This causes a problem called wet stacking, where unburned fuel and carbon build up in the combustion chamber, exhaust system, and turbocharger. Over time, wet stacking leads to injector troubles, turbo damage, and DPF blockage. Long idling also stops your engine oil from reaching the right temperature. Cold, thick oil can't lubricate properly, so important engine parts keep wearing out even while the engine is running. The turbocharger is at high risk because it needs thin, hot oil to protect its bearings. Newer diesel engines with emission systems face even more harm from long idling. The diesel particulate filter, or DPF, needs high exhaust heat to burn off soot and clean itself. Idling keeps exhaust temperatures too low, so the DPF can't clean, leading to clogging and costly repairs. So what's the right way to warm up your engine? It depends on the outside temperature, but the rule stays the same. Short idling followed by easy driving under light load. Here's a guide based on temperature. When it's above 50 degrees Fahrenheit, idle for only 30 to 60 seconds after starting. This gives time for oil pressure to build and lubrication to reach all parts. Then drive slowly, keeping RPMs under 2,000 until the temperature gauge shows the engine is warming up. When it's between 0 and 50 degrees Fahrenheit, idle for about 2 to 3 minutes. This slightly longer idling time lets the thick oil become thinner and start moving properly while you clear the windows. Again, once you begin driving, keep it light with low RPMs until the engine reaches normal running temperature. When the temperature drops below zero degrees Fahrenheit, let it idle for up to five minutes only. Even in very cold weather, idling for more than seven minutes gives no extra benefit and starts causing the wet stacking issues mentioned earlier. After this short warm-up, drive slowly with a light load for the first few miles. The main thing to understand is that diesel engines need some load to warm up properly. When you drive gently, the engine burns more fuel, produces more heat, and warms up faster than it ever could by idling. The higher combustion heat helps everything reach the right temperature, including oil, coolant, transmission fluid, and differential fluid. Here's how to drive gently for a proper warm-up. Keep RPMs below 2,000 for the first 5 to 10 minutes of driving. Avoid fast acceleration, high speeds, or towing heavy loads until the temperature gauge shows the engine is fully warm. Don't use full throttle or high boost until the oil is hot, which takes longer than the coolant. The turbo bearings need thin, hot oil for proper lubrication. Cold starts are hardest on the turbo bearings, so the first few minutes of gentle driving are very important for keeping your turbo in good condition. 
avoid boost and high RPMs until the oil temperature rises. Now let's talk about tools that help with cold starts and shorten warm-up time. Block heaters are very useful for people living in cold areas. These electric heaters warm up the engine block, coolant, and oil before starting, making cold starts much easier and reducing early engine wear. Plug your block heater in two to four hours before starting in cold weather. You don't need to keep it plugged in all night, as that only wastes electricity. A timer can make this process easier by turning the heater on a few hours before you usually start the vehicle. Battery warmers are also very helpful in extreme cold. Diesel engines need a lot of power to start because of their high compression, but batteries lose about 35% of their power at freezing and up to 60% at zero degrees. A battery warmer keeps the battery warm and makes sure your engine starts easily. Use winter grade diesel fuel or fuel additives in cold weather. Diesel fuel can thicken and form wax crystals in low temperatures, blocking filters and stopping fuel flow. Winter additives lower the temperature at which fuel thickens, keeping it flowing even in very cold weather. Here's another important thing many diesel owners forget. You must warm up more than just the engine. The transmission and differential also have thick cold oil that needs to reach normal temperature. Long idling only warms the engine but does nothing for the transmission and differential fluids. When you drive slowly during warm-up, all the fluids in your vehicle warm up together. This prevents stress on cold transmission and differential parts, helping them last much longer. For vehicles with manual transmissions, shift gently during warm-up. Cold transmission oil makes the synchronizers work harder and rough shifting can cause damage. Let the transmission warm up through gentle driving before shifting harder. Now here's the mistake people make after warm-up. Many diesel owners think when the temperature gauge shows normal, the engine is fully warmed up. That's not true. The coolant gauge only shows that the coolant is warm, but the oil takes much longer to reach full operating temperature. Oil temperature warms up slower than coolant temperature, usually taking 10 to 15 minutes of driving. Even if your coolant gauge shows normal, your oil might still be only partly warm. Keep driving gently until you're sure the oil is fully warmed up, usually after 15 to 20 minutes of total driving. Some newer diesel vehicles have oil temperature gauges or displays. Use them to know when your engine is truly ready for full power. If your vehicle doesn't have an oil temperature gauge, play it safe and keep driving gently for a bit longer. Now let's talk about cooling down, which is just as important for turbo diesel engines. After heavy driving or towing, your turbocharger becomes very hot. Turning the engine off right away stops oil flow to the turbo bearings while they're still spinning fast and extremely hot. Let the engine idle for 30 to 90 seconds after hard driving so the turbo can cool down slowly while still getting oil. If your vehicle has an exhaust gas temperature gauge, wait until the temperature drops to around 300 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit before turning the engine off. This simple cool down step greatly increases the turbo's life. So, that's the correct way to warm up your diesel engine. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you watched till the end, thank you so much.